Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Glutamat, on how we can apply a PSD file texture to a metal ray car paint shader. Okay, so to illustrate this, I have the knife from the introduction to modeling in Maya course. So let's start by creating a car paint shader. So we'll go to create metal ray materials and look for the car paint shader. So I'll just create this guy here since I'm not going to be dealing with render passes in this video. Now, if we take a look at some of the attributes for the car paint shader, let's just double click on it to open up the attribute editor. We can see that we have quite a few different color channels in here. Now, the point of the car paint shader is to actually be a procedural texture. So while we can plug in some file textures into some of these different color channels, if we start doing that, it will have a drastic effect on the outcome of our procedural car paint texture. So that's probably not what we really want to do. Uh, so what we can actually do is take advantage of a layered shader in order to get the results that we're looking for. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, take a look at the bottom of my hypershade here, just to clean up the interface a little bit. And what we're going to want to do is to bring in a couple different nodes. Okay, so let's go to Create. Let's do Materials and create a layered shader. So basically with the layered shader, what we'll be able to do is to uh, create multiple layers and then have that uh, shader applied to our material. Okay, so let's just... Uh, select uh, the top of our knife here and apply our layered shader to that. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to set up the PSD file texture. So let's come in to create materials and I'm going to apply it to a surface shader. Now I like to work with surface shaders because they don't actually have any um, lighting or any sort of reflection or that sort of information on them. So it's basically just a flat color. So that way I can get just my PSD file texture on here without any reflections or anything like that. So I'm going to come back in and create a 2D texture and this will be my PSD file. So that will create our PSD file texture node which is different than just a regular file texture node. Notice we have our file and we have a PSD file. So if we're working with a PSD file for our texture, we want to make sure we're selecting the right node here. So in the PSD file texture node, let's come in and select our image. And I have actually under my textures folder here just a simple DT text PSD file. And now that we have that created, we can just middle click and drag that onto our surface shader as the default. And basically what that'll do is that'll connect it to both our color as well as the transparency. Okay, so let's take this surface shader now and plug this into our layered shader and get rid of the default green now. So now we have the layered shader applied to our knife here. And in the layered shader, we only have one texture right now, or one shader, which is the surface shader being fed by the PSD file texture. So let's open up our render view and just render this out real quick in order to see what it looks like. Let's pull it up on our screen and render this out. And as we can see, the result isn't uh, overly dramatic. Uh, it's basically just our PSD file texture on here. So let's save this out. That way we can come back and compare later and close out of my render view. Now let's hook in our uh, car paint shader into the layered shader. Now if I come in, take the car paint shader I had created, and just middle click and drag this into my layered shader, um, Maya is not going to let me do that. So in order to get this metal ray material into the layered shader, we're actually going to have to use a little bit of a trick and once again bring in a Maya shader to pull into this layered shader uh, node. So uh, once again, I'm going to use a surface shader so that way I'm not adding any extra reflections or anything like that. And I'll come in and create a new surface shader. So now this will act as the uh, in intermediate basically. So this will be applied into our layered shader. 
And then plugging into the surface shader, I'm going to plug my car paint into the out color of my surface shader. Now if I take this, middle click and drag this into my out color, I'm just going to pull up my connection editor. So uh, what we want to do is come down and find the result, which is the overall result from the car paint shader, and plug that into the out color. Okay, so now that we have that hooked up, let's come back into our render view and render this out. And as we can see, we're not getting much of a difference from the previous render. Well, why is that? Well, if we actually hop into Photoshop and take a look at the PSD file, look in the channels here, we can see that I have the alpha channel set up. So let's make sure in Maya that we're actually using that alpha channel so that our PSD file texture is only for this uh, text. So let's come into our PSD file texture node and we'll find this alpha to use. So right now it's using the default. And I want to switch it to the alpha one just to make sure that it's only using the alpha channel that I had set up in the PSD file. And we can see right away the preview for our surface shader has changed. So now if we come in and render this out, we can see that the result that we get is our nice PSD file texture on top of our car paint shader. So this was uh, before just with our PSD texture. And then by using a layered shader, we're able to add the car paint underneath that. So that's a look at how we can take advantage of the layered shader in order to get a file texture on our metal ray car paint shader. Now, if you want to get more in depth and take a look at the different options for the car paint shader, check out the metal ray online nodes reference library.